Abdullah. Uh, Vice President has conveyed his heartfelt condolences to the bereaved families. He wished speedy recovery to the injured as well. And we've been informing you that the control of explosives Kochi has uh, reached uh, Golem as well. And uh, Prime Minister Modi himself uh, has now arrived uh, at uh, Tiruvannadpuram. You can see in the pictures there, the Prime Minister has arrived at Tiruvannadpuram. He's expected uh, to leave uh, for uh, Kolam. Uh, he is likely to visit... He is likely to visit uh, one of the hospitals that is taking care uh, of uh, the injured there. He will be taking a chopper, in fact, uh, I'm being told, uh, from Tiruvannadpuram. These are live pictures coming in from Tiruvannadpuram where the Prime Minister has just landed to... Uh, himself take uh, stock of the situation, especially all the efforts that are being made uh, to take care of the injured. Uh, he's likely to meet them in at least one hospital. He is uh, getting uh, uh, an update on all the efforts that have been made ever since this tragedy took place uh, at around 3.30 a.m. in Kolam at uh, that uh, temple. And uh, the Prime Minister is, uh, after getting these updates, expected to get on board a helicopter and leave for Kolam, where he is expected to visit at least one of the hospitals. There are, remember, around 10 hospitals that are treating the over 300 injured in this massive tragedy. More than 100 lives lost. The injured have been shifted to hospital even in Tiruvannadpuram. Navy and uh, Air Force helicopters have been pushed, in, pushed into service. Air ambulance has been used, Dorniers. There are teams of NDRF on site uh, that are taking part in the rescue and relief operations. The Prime Minister has arrived in Tiruvannadpuram in that aircraft with uh, a team of uh, burn specialist uh, doctors on board as well because uh, well, extensive injuries have taken place, uh, life-threatening injuries among the injured. These specialists uh, likely also include uh, plastic surgeons who specialize in rectifying uh, the damages uh, to the body th because of uh, extensive uh, burning. And the Prime Minister now looks headed for that chopper which he will be taking to get to Kolam. A massive fire tragedy, unprecedented really in terms of scale in uh, Kerala has taken place at uh, this uh, temple where uh, over 10,000 people, uh, that's the number that has come in, had gathered to essentially not just pray but also watch uh, massive fireworks display. And that's what had been taking place at, uh, well, around, it started around midnight at that temple there and uh, it's believed that sparks uh, from uh, the fireworks that were taking place, uh, they landed uh, at the storage room that uh, contained even more an inordin inordinate amount of fireworks at uh, that site in Kolam. That's what uh, sparked off this entire tragedy, where over, over 100 people have died. And the Prime Minister is now on his way from Tiruvannadpuram to the site of the tragedy in Kolam, where he's expected to visit at least one hospital to not just get an on-ground assessment, but also speak to the injured, assure them that uh, all that can be mustered uh, in order to help them uh, from either the centre or the state authorities, all is being done. Medical teams have been flown in from Delhi itself. Uh, burns, uh, specialists have been flown in. And all the medical supplies that are required to ensure that the best treatment possible is given to the victims, that is being given. And that's what the Prime Minister, the assurance he's carrying that from Delhi to all those people in Kerala caught up in this uh, experience.